M1 Limited, previously known as Mobile One, is one of the three major telcos operating in the Republic of Singapore, the other two being Starhub and Singtel. As at the 22nd of February 2017, major shareholders include Axiata Investments 28.54%, Keppel Telecoms 19.23% and SPH Multimedia 13.38%. The remaining shares are owned by institutional and public investors. Topic: Coverage, products and services. According to December 2016 IMDA results, M1's 4G outdoor coverage was 99.49%. M1 is one of the three major full service communications providers in Singapore. It offers a suite of mobile voice and data communication services over its 3G, 3.5G, 4G, LTEA network, including international call services to both mobile and fixed line customers. These include SMS, MMS, WAP, GPRS, 3G, 3.5G and 4G and was the first Singapore operator to launch a nationwide 4G LTE and 4G LTEA network. It also offers prepaid mobile services, such as prepaid data plans, under its M-Card brand. It is one of the operators in Singapore to offer a prepaid 4G service. Singapore's 2G networks, including M1s, was turned off in April 2017. M1 offered GSM services to its customers upon its entry into the mobile communications market in 1997. In 1998, M1 introduced CDMA as the second mobile network in Singapore. However, customers on the CDMA network were migrated onto its GSM network in 2001. This was due to the CDMA network spectrum being earmarked for 3G service developments. The company also launched Singapore's first mobile broadband services in 2006, named M1 Broadband, and introduced fixed broadband services in 2008. In 2010, it launched Singapore's first fibre broadband service. History Topic twenty seventeen Launches Southeast Asia's first commercial nationwide NBIOT network. Launches a digital mobile remittance service. Shuts down two G network. Demos thirty five gigabits per second five G speeds in lab environment with vendor Huawei. Topic twenty sixteen conducts Singapore's first live NBIOT demo with vendor Nokia launches the first wireless service for public buses called Wi-Fi on the go achieved 4G peak download speeds of more than 1 gigabit per second and peak upload speeds in excess of 130 megabits per second through a collaboration with Huawei reportedly Southeast Asia's fastest combined upload and download mobile speeds topic 2015 Launches new gigabit passive optical network plans with speeds of 2 to 10 gigabits per second. 10 gigabits per second consumer plans will be available by year end. Signs an agreement to host a postpaid MVNO Liberty Wireless. 
Liberty is expected to launch commercial service by end 2015. M1 launches a mobile payment solution known as MPOs, in partnership with MasterCard, CIMB and Wirecard. Jointly announces, with Singapore's other two mobile operators Singtel and Starhub, that it will cease 2G service in April 2017. M1 announces an investment into Integrated Telecommunications Oman SAOC TEO. Launches 4G Voice Volt in April. M1 is appointed IDA's Home Access Program Service Provider. M1 and the Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore announce a partnership to help the maritime community. 2014 M1's fiber broadband service encountered issues on 14 May 2014 for about an hour, due to a DNS error. M1 launched Singapore's fastest 10 gigabits per second service on the NGNBN. M1 partnered with GrabTaxi to offer Singapore's first carrier billing service for taxi drivers. Mobile customers got free local calls and SMS, MMS messages every Sunday in April as part of the M1 Sunshine Sundays customer appreciation campaign on its 17th anniversary. M1 won the 2014 Frost and Sullivan Singapore Best Customer Experience in Telecommunications Award. M1 customers experienced difficulties making voice calls, sending and receiving SMS for five hours on 4 February. M1 announced the launch of its small cell solution for business customers. M1 launched a femtocell solution to provide improved data and voice coverage for its business customers. The service is bundled with free unlimited outgoing calls. M1's 4G network is the first to reach nationwide 300 megabits per second LTE advanced speed in Singapore. Topic 2013 IDA announced that it will fine M1 $1.5 million for its January network incident. On 25 September, M1, along with six other ISPs, submitted a joint response asking the IDA to reject OpenNet's consolidation request. On 26 July, M1 announced a new Internet service called MeBox, comprising a bundled Android set-top box and a mixture of free and premium chargeable content and applications. M1 announced in May that it will invest $11 million to further enhance its networks. The project was fully completed by the third quarter of 2013. M1 launches Singapore's first prepaid 4G mobile plans. In April, M1 announced that it would spend up to $85 million to modernize its mobile networks, as well as to deploy a nationwide 3G radio network on the 900 MHz frequency band. The project was completed by the first quarter of 2014. M1's 3G mobile network in the southwestern part of Singapore was disrupted on 15 January. The Infocom Development Authority of Singapore investigated the service disruption under its Code of Practice for Telecommunication Service Resiliency. 2012. M1 launched its long-term evolution LTE networks to consumers on the 15th of September, becoming Southeast Asia's first nationwide 4G service provider. Topic 2011 
M1 started its long-term evolution LTE networks on the 21st of June, becoming the first mobile operator in Southeast Asia, providing speeds of up to 75 megabits per second at selected areas. Launched the iPhone 4S on the 28th of October alongside Singtel and StarHub. Topic 2010. M1 became the RSP to provide fiber broadband services on Singapore's next generation fiber optics network of speeds up to one gigabit per second. Mobile One Limited rebranded as M1 Limited with a new logo. Launched iPhone 4 alongside Singtel and StarHub. Topic 2009. Launched iPhone 3GS after Singtel. Launched Singapore's first prepaid broadband service. Launched Take Three free handset rental mobile plans. Launched ADSL broadband after the complete acquisition of QALA Singapore Private Limited. 2008 Enters the fixed broadband industry in Singapore on 4 August 2008. It is the fourth telecommunication company to enter the fixed broadband industry, after Starhub, Singnet and Pacnet. Customers of the fixed broadband service will connect to M1 broadband via StarHub Cable's open access network. 2006 Launched Singapore's first HSDPA broadband service, for Internet connection up to 3.6 megabits per second, everywhere in Singapore. 2005 Launched Singapore's first commercial 3G service Introduced Singapore's only prepaid card with free incoming calls. On 31 August 2005, Telecom Malaysia and Kazana Nasional raised their stake in Mobile One. Sunshare Investments bought a total of 4.023 million shares on the open market over three trading days from Thursday last week. The purchases raised its stake in the mobile telecommunications services provider from 23.64% to 24.04%. Topic 2004 Introduced new company motto One Life Live it in a new brand marketing promotion. Partnered with Taiwanese pop group 5566 to provide exclusive mobile content for customers. Established Point, Singapore's first music recognition service. Joint venture with Google to offer Asia's first wireless image search for mobile phones. Conducted trials for push to talk in July. M1 was the first in Singapore and among the first carriers in Asia to offer prepaid customers direct dial when roaming. 2003 Introduced Singapore's first sports news service on MMS. Introduced Singapore's first MMS service for prepaid cards. 2002 
M1 became a publicly listed company in December. M1 was the first operator in Singapore to launch MMS.